Good. Well, for more on this, let's go live to Gloucester, where our correspondent Rebecca Williams is at a daycare centre for the elderly. And Rebecca, we've heard Tim Frown calling on more funding, potentially increasing um, tax to deal with this four billion pound shortfall. It's increasing um, tax to deal with this four billion pound shortfall, as he's described it. And when you look at the, the number of elderly people needing care, hundreds of thousands, it's it's a crisis, as he put it. Yeah, and this review today makes a pretty bleak reading. There are hundreds of thousands of elderly people that can't do day-to-day -day basics like eating, uh, getting out of bed, and uh, general mobility, really. As you say, we're at this day centre in Gloucester, where people come. It's a lifeline for many of them, they've been telling me. And they come to interact, of course. They do activities. It gets them out and about. Um, but so many people uh, say that without this, they don't know what they do. And, of course, many centres like this up and down the country are closing down and that's a warning that there is a crisis now in social care. Let's take a quick look at some of the figures in this review and uh, looking at them it says 2.3 million people daily need help th with things like getting out of bed, bathing, eating and going to the toilet but nearly 1.2 million, that's more than half, are not getting the care they need and that's a 48% increase uh, since 2010. Now if you follow me into this room here, um, a number of the women are doing various things like knitting and um, there are various activities put on here and we can have a chat now uh, with Steph um, good morning to you Steph we oh, were chatting on. earlier you live on your own yes. how important is this club for you well I think it's wonderful my daughter organized it for me and it's the best thing she ever did for me because without it I never see a soul nobody You'd be on your own, and you're partially sighted. Yes. So do you find it difficult doing day-to-day -day things? Well, I do, because virtually I do nothing. I can't, you know, clean a window because I'm epileptic as well, you see. So as soon as I start to do anything, I get the wobbles and start shaking. So this is good for you. Thank you very much for having a chat with us. Very um, difficult. Well, you heard it there. Um, these ladies say that this is so crucial coming to a club like this. And obviously this review today pointing out the scale of the problem in this country and warning that things will only get worse with our ageing population unless uh, there is more investment in social care and it's treated as more of a priority. OK, Rebecca, thanks so much.